Now she needs to do something to David. David really, really needs something. I don't know what to call it. Where are you? Just get Make the water and leave me. instead of standing there. Yelling at nothing. Hey. Show yourself. Could have just taken the water, like, right there. Just taking it and left. Why do you have to stand there and wait for it to come for you? Take a leap of faith. You owe me a drink. Hop on. I know a good watering hole. If you don't, I will. <laughs> it's a very strange place to take someone for a drink. A well? A watering hole? Literally? Well, say what you want about me, and I always tell the truth. I just thought a drink was like wine or whiskey. Do you want me to get you drunk? No. Next time. They say there's something special about this well. There's even a legend. They say that the water from the well is fed by an underground lake, and that lake has magical properties. Magic? You sound like oh, Henry. Is this the same lake Smart that uh, so Charming is at right now? If you drink the water from the well, something lost will be returned yeah. to you. Okay. You know an awful lot about this town for being a stranger. Mm -hmm. And you know very little for being the sheriff. How do you know all this? Have you been here before? I know all of this for one very simple reason. I read the plaque. Mm. You actually believe that? I'm a writer. I have to have an open mind. Yeah, but magic? Water is a very powerful thing. Cultures as old as time have worshipped it. It flows throughout all lands connecting the entire world. If anything had mystical properties, if anything had magic, well, I'd say it'd be water. If you need evidence for everything, Emma, you're gonna find yourself stuck in one place for a long time. Maybe. Or maybe I'll just find the truth before anyone else. There's one thing I can tell you for sure that requires no leap of faith, and I know you'll agree with me. What's that? It's good water. She gonna start being shunned. Oh, oh gosh, excuse I'm sorry. Me, I, did... I must not have been oh. looking. You. Excuse me. You should be ashamed of yourself. You should be. Don't act so shocked. You did a horrible thing. It's because I can be anyone you want me to be. Stop. I know what you are. You're a siren. And your deceitful words are a spell meant to lure me to my death. You're not really her. It's an illusion. I know it's not real. I know you want to. I can feel it. No. No. And then he just sucks on her face. You know, it's not even her. You s Ugh. Such a weak person. He's so weak. No. It's not you. Yes, it is. I love you. No. This is not real love. I felt it. And this isn't it. I know the difference. Congratulations, Prince Charming. You're the first. So I'm gonna try and kill you anyway. <laughs> she let go, swim up, stupid. I know he doesn't die, but my lord. Unless she's blowing air into your lungs, stop. Oh, tramp. Now, I don't agree with that. It's one thing to say something, but you don't need to spray paint people's things with sorry, nasty I don't words. know how any of this happened. You don't know? Really? Hey, Margaret, I can't control what other people do. No, but you can control what you do. And you lied. And now everyone is calling me a tramp. Who told her? That is exactly the wrong question. You should have told her. The real question is why didn't you do what we discussed? 
Why didn't you tell her? You know, I thought we could spare her feelings. Right, you thought. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Now everyone is hurt. But you not only lied to her, you lied to me. If we want to see if, if this, if what we have, is love, you know, we have to pick up the pieces and we kind of move on. David, this isn't love. What we have is destructive, and it has to stop. What are you saying? That we shouldn't be together. I'm sorry if I was supposed to feel sad there. I'm not sad. Convenient that this book that disappeared just happened to be right by your car. I mean, I know how it got there, obviously, but... See the way he looks at her? He's never looked at me like that. Not even before his accident. Have you ever been in love? Yes. Once. And you're lucky. Because what I'm coming to understand is, is that I haven't. What they have is real, it's true. My marriage to David, it, it just was like an illusion. I don't know how it happened, but it was never real. That's true. That I'm sticking to my plan and moving to Boston alone. If I stay here, I'll never be happy. And what about David? Well, that's what she wants, though. She mother. doesn't want anybody to be happy. Him and Mary Margaret. I told them they should be together. Uh, I'm sorry, you did what? <laughs> I can't see him, not now. I've always had this irrational fear of leaving Storybrooke. Like something's just holding me back. Is that crazy? <laughs> no. No. Change is always frightening. But you know what, Catherine? This just may be what you need. But is she gonna Maybe be able to leave? Looking for. Water from Lake Nostos, as requested. Remarkable. But how did you manage to slay the beast? Well, the fate of your true love was at stake. And it was a battle I couldn't afford to lose. It's working. <laughs> That's why they focused on you him. He was trapped. It's free. Now you're free. <gasps> He's the one who freed you. I am forever indebted to you. Will pay me back by walking down the aisle with someone you truly belong with. Where will you go? To find Snow White. You are going after her. <sighs> True love isn't easy, but it must be fought for. Because once you find it, it can never be replaced. When King George discovers that the union of the kingdoms has been ruined, he will come after you. Some people will stop at nothing to destroy the happiness of others. The funny thing is, David destroyed his own happiness here in the real world because he just couldn't come out and tell the truth. What exactly is your plan? You found it! Where did you get it? I found it in a gutter. It must have fallen off the dump truck on the way to the junkyard and got tossed around in the rain and somehow made its way back to me. Well. That's crazy. Maybe it means our luck is changing. Operation Cobra is back on. It's a sign. Things are going to be better. I hope you're right, kid. I gotta go. No! Are you there? She's gone. She never came back after she went to find you. Snow told me that we can't be together because she doesn't love me. She left here to break up your wedding because she's in love with you. Unless something changed her mind along the way. Not something. Someone. Yeah. Who are they? Not someone. You feel like talking about it yet? Nope. You gonna be alone? Nope. Give her a cuddle. Maybe she needs a hug. What did the... She did it. So petty. 
You're leaving your true love, though. He's there. What was the point of her stealing this letter? I don't get it. She gonna make it out? Nope. Oh, and it's her. It's her love. It's Frederick. Why is he driving there? Is he leaving town? Where is she at? Did she do something? She did something. She did something. I don't know what she did, but... Uh, Catherine disappearing and her stealing the letter, telling David that she was leaving means something, even though Catherine's gone, so unless she took her for some reason, I don't know, I don't know. She's got a reason, though, I know that. She's got a reason, and not a good one. Um, so everything kind of blew up in this episode over David and Mary Margaret. Good. I'm glad. It's finally out. I hope that David gets the same treatment from the people in town as Mary Margaret, because otherwise that's unfair. David has as is much to blame as Mary Margaret is. Um But Mary Margaret decided they can't be together. And uh I'm okay with that. I'm sure they'll get together eventually. But I think right now they just not, I think this needs to happen for right now. Because they didn't, I don't know, just the way they went about things, I don't think they deserve to go straight to being happy. You know? And my, that's my opinion. My opinion. Uh, I do hope that they move, you know, they work through it. Time passes. Yeah, for now, I'm glad that they didn't get straight to the happily ever after between them two. Um, but like I said, David better get the same treatment as Mary Margaret. Otherwise, I will be upset about that. Uh, I didn't feel sad for them. Uh, as far as fairy tale uh, world with Abigail and her fiance or ex fiance, whatever you want to call him, Frederick, being. Turned into gold by, because he was protecting her father. Um, it was it was nice to see the different side of Abigail. It was more of like the Catherine that we see in the real world. Um, her attitude in this. And I was glad that Charming helped her get Frederick back. But the whole thing with him and the siren was so dumb to me. Because, you know, he goes there, he had the water. He had the water. He could have just left. Why did he be like, you know, reveal yourself? Like, dude, just leave. You know this person kills people, right? And then you have what you need, but you're going to stand there and talk to them? I mean, really? And then she turns herself into snow. He's like, you're not real. And yet he still makes out with her anyway? What the hell is that about? I don't, it just makes me very, it makes me question Charming and David. Like, <laughs> I don't know. He just doesn't seem very loyal to his women. You know, in fairy tale world, yeah, he thinks Snow doesn't want anything to do with them. So maybe that has something to do with him making out with someone who looked like her. So maybe I can get over that. But then you see David cheating on his wife who's not really his wife but is his wife you know according to law or whatever it's just i don't know it's just very annoying his character annoys me <laughs> i don't know why he just does he didn't annoy me at first like when he was in his coma and we saw him first wake up and everything i was okay with him in both worlds but the further we get into the season the more his character just annoys the hell out of me I don't know. Hopefully I'll get past it and he'll get better for me. Um, so we all, we know the stranger's name. His name is August. Um, and I didn't say anything during the reaction because it, uh, 
because I was just like, you know, they haven't really talked about it. We've seen them in the show, in the fairy tale world. Uh, what I'm thinking, not not August. Well, sort of August. But what he said at the well, at the well, I don't know if I said whale, but well, <laughs> um, uh, what was it he said? He's like, uh, that he only tells the truth. As soon as he said that, my thought went Pinocchio. So, but then I think, okay, well, he can't be Pinocchio because he 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 came into Storybrooke, so he wasn't in Storybrooke, but he would have had to been, right? In order for you know, because of the curse and everything. So that's why I was that's why I didn't say anything because I was like, okay, just because you know this is fairy tales and stuff, and he's like, you know, I tell the I only tell the truth and. It just, boom, Pinocchio automatically, like, popped into my head. But then I was like, okay, well, he came in from outside Storybrooke, so it can't be Pinocchio. So, anyway, I just want to put that out there. that That's what popped into my head, but I didn't say it out loud. Uh, so, I don't know who he is or why he knows things or why he took Henry's book and rebound it. Like, what was he dipping it in? Like, what did that do to the pages? I'm assuming it was some sort of protection. Not magic or anything. Just, like, some kind of protection for the pages to keep them from fading or something. I mean, I really, I have no idea about books. Uh, so, I don't know. Then, you know, he conveniently left it, you know, in Emma's car. So, she found it, but... Uh, I'm glad Henry got his book back. Uh, I just wish I knew why August took it and did what he did with it and then gave it back. I, it's very weird. But he's a weird character, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, I enjoyed the episode. I'm glad things are out in the open, finally. Um, now I just have to wonder what Regina's plan is. Like, why she looks so sinister, because she must have did something to Catherine, because Catherine is missing. Her car crashed right before it left Storybrooke. She's not in it. And Regina went to her house and stole a letter that she left for David, probably explaining, you know, that she left and all that stuff. So, yeah, I wonder what the, the big plan is. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.